All right, so we're just going to explain how to access controlled folder access. Um, it blocks, basically blocks certain folders, which you can also designate yourself, but a lot of Windows folders, it blocks access to them um, unless certain conditions are met. So a lot of programs, tons of programs use basically this C users, username, app data, stuff like it's anything in here in general, but like app data local is so you can see there's a ton of like almost every game they use them for save files for saved data settings, stuff like that. Like that's a very common one. So a lot of programs, they, a program can be made so that when it's installed manually, Windows is like, all right, everything's fine. And it just lets them do it because they did something that met some condition within Windows. I don't really know anything about why, but some programs have a problem and you have to allow them through manually. In this case, the primary thing for this is the Remnant Save Guardian, Remnant Save Analyzer for Remnant 1, um, other games like 20XX and 30XX, had a, I think only 30XX had a problem for me. Remnant 2 itself had a problem uh, and I had to allow them through. Uh, so the way to access it is you can right click on this little Windows Defender icon and click View Security Dashboard or just type Windows Security. And you'll click on Virus and Threat Protection and you'll click Protection History and you'll be able to see these and you can see them and you'll be able to see what it is like what was the file what was blocked you know it, it this tried to access this you know i've allowed this through already but this was LibreOffice. but you know uh old apps could do it whatever like any, anything could do it it'll tell you what it is where it came from to let you know but you won't usually get a notification about this. So if you're having any problems with any program, unless you specifically know what the problem is already, um, just check, check this. This is like one of my first stops for almost any issue with a new program or an old program. Sometimes Windows just decides randomly that it needs to do this to you, even when it's been working before. So just check it protection history normally if it's not already allowed there'll be a button here where my mouse is hovering that says like you can just click allow app allow through but the other way is controlled folder access and then allow an app through controlled folder access and you'll click yes I wouldn't turn this stuff off leave it on just allow things through it manually and you can just click these are things that are allowed. You can see this is a much shorter list of things than everything that actually exists um, in that folder. Like that was just one example folder and there's, there's quite a few, but you can click allow app and you can recently block apps. That's something I don't have that anymore. So I don't care, but this might be a list of several things. And if your program is on here, just go ahead and allow it through. If you're fine with that, you've, you've done all your other, you know that it's safe. Like for instance, Remnant Save Guardian. And you would just, you would just click the plus button for it and add it. You can of course browse all apps and go find something preemptively. Uh, the other thing you can look at, uh, this is just for your, you know, you can tell, you can say add a protected folder and you can designate anywhere on your computer and say, if something messes with this, block it, which is just that, that you should you should know how to do that sort of thing. Uh, block history goes back if you find yourself somewhere else, but I would leave this on. And that's it. Just do that. There's a good chance that it fixes your problem.